Lang is going to win. He's going to win pretty handily, knowing what we know now of Chapter 275. But one of the ace in the holes that maybe both, maybe one, is going to connect and it's going to heavily damage Gao Lang's legs. We've already seen he him take damage to his fists and all that stuff. And the whole thing about it, he now has the unbreakable fist. He's got the god call. He's not going to damage his striking. What's he going to damage is his footwork. And that's going to be the thing. We're going to have a heavily injured Roland and or Agito up against a, a Gao Lang who has his striking. He's got flash, he's got god glow, but he's going to be injured from the waist down in some description. Either his legs, his footwork, he's going to be slow, he's, his flexibility is going to be down, his speed is going to take a hit, something like that. And that's how that fight's going to end. I think Gao Lang's going to win this pretty decisively, but he's going to take a very damning hit going into the finals. Yeah, well, I have... I'm actually split between uh, Justin and Gao Lang, and I know that's going to be surprising for some people to hear, because mm -hmm. I think this really does depend on whether or not Justin can take advantage of the aces that he has. And the degree he's able to also grow as a fighter because that's one of the things Justin is here to do. What's important about this tournament is that they are trying to fight, trying to create, you know, the fighter that could go up against Shen. So we're assuming that people are going to grow in power in this tournament. In fact, it's already happened with like Julius. So the winner of this tournament would likewise be someone who has grown in power as well. Maybe, mm -hmm. and this is gonna be a wild take, it could be Justin if he's the dark horse of this tournament. Where I know it might sound a little bit insane. Again, if he does beat someone like Gao Lang, I don't think he'll win the entire tournament outright, but it would be. I, I don't think it's completely out of the cards. I think there Justin stands a very good shot because remember Sakagake he lost because he made one mistake in the fight and he got into that suplex and that was it what happens if Gao Lang makes a similar mistake and he gets into a similar position like let's say for example let me ask you Griever if Gao Lang had taken the same slam that Sakagake had taken do you think he would have gotten knocked out he, since he's taken Jirota's swing, I'd say yes. He would get up. Heavily damaged, he would get up. Damn, that's but his legs would be extremely weak after that one. I think he gets up. I think he loses, if we're talking like RPG health bars, I think he loses 80% of his health from a hit like that. But he... Yeah, I, I don't think he gets knocked out in one hit like Sakigaki did. Gao Lang's been thrown by the best and he's been, you know, hit by the best and stuff like that. I don't think Justin can come in and one hit KO Gal a guy like Gao Lang, no matter what movie he uses. I, I, but that, that, that being fair. said that being said, um the idea of Justin winning is definitely an interesting take. I kinda like it because once again I am a Justin fan. I like Justin. Um, but I'm more curious on what these aces in the hole are. That's what's well, curious to me. And if the, he's going to be able to, because once again, even against a guy with pre-initiative, even against one of the two kings of purgatory, a guy he can has to be careful to touch. Gao Lang controlled, as we both agreed, he controlled 95% of his match. What's to say, and we're seeing the domination right now, will he even be able to, like... Well, I guess, once again, he doesn't that. know what his aces in the hole are, but what what is... Gao Lang's going to have to literally go brain dead for him to make a mistake that big to create such a big opening. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just... The, 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 the fight is not in Justin's favor, I guess, is my... Like, he's got to wait for the perfect opening. Do what, uh, do what uh, Droda did and wait for a god glow and use that opening to your advantage, maybe? Something similar? Seems to be the only bet. I mean, he did manage to dodge flat for a second, and then Okubo was like, oh shit, no, don't do that. And then he took a hit to the temple. So, I mean, you know. I, am I, I just don't know if Justin's gonna be able to get a opening, that's all. Well, I am just 
talking about mere possibilities here because like mm-hmm. for example the difference between let's say Justin and Jurada is that Gao Lang knew what to expect with Jurada he really didn't True. have anything new besides striking which you couldn't really use against Gao Lang with Justin right. there are basically two things he doesn't know and depending on what those things are that's why i used the sakigake example where he accidentally yeah. landed on basically a landmine and that was he was done basically and it really does come down to like like let's say certain mistakes that gao lang might make that might not even necessarily be gao lang's fault so that's what i'm talking mm-hmm. about specifically like can justin take advantage of those moments now of the fact that he doesn't know what his trump cards are yes so he when, doesn't know what to look out for yes and and when he starts taking the, an advantage he immediately he just shuts down anything gao lang can do at that moment cuz if he forces gao lang to start playing his game the wrestling game he's mm-hmm. justin uh, agi uh, i'm saying what am why am i saying agito gao lang might be mm-hmm. cooked however like, gao I lang has know. his muay thai so Sorry? i said gao lang has his muay thai so Getting him on the ground, as we've seen before, trying to get him on the ground. He's able to cushion even the swing when it came out of nowhere. I don't think he would, Justin, with his, even his wrestling or getting him on the ground, I don't think any of that's going to matter because he's got the eight points of contact. And no matter how much MMA training Justin has done, this man is a master of Muay Thai. So there's Justin no position where... high endurance. He does, but I'm saying that like... You know, you, you know, honestly, the, the the one thing that I could see that I don't know if Justin's going to pull off, I'm curious if he's going to pull a Cosmo, if he's going to go for a hold to just make him pass out. That would that could be the one good. thing I could see that would work against Gao Lang is being a strangler. If you strangled him, I don't know how Gao Lang gets out of a, a hold. I see him getting off the ground. I see him getting out of grapples. I don't see him getting out of an actual successful hold. Uh, we've never seen Gao Lang in a hole because he's too fast. But if that's one of Justin's ace in the hole and he sees an opportunity to get him in a hole successfully, as you said, that could turn the tide. And once again, like I said, I think one or both of the aces in the hole hits Gao Lang in this fight. I don't think they would set that up saying he's got some trump cards. We, the readers, don't even know what they are. That will maybe work against Gao Lang. And I think Gao Lang goes and fight damage because there's no way they're going to put healthy 100% beat Justin Galang up against a very damaged Agito or Roland because that's just going to be unfair. The final fight is going to have them at relatively equal damage of some description. So I do think Justin gets off one of his moves and it does heavy damage. As you said, some opening, some mistake by Galang has got to happen in this fight. I'm just curious on when and where, you know, like how is it going to happen? You know, it's kind of, it's pretty exciting actually. Yeah, now let me turn around and be a hypocrite and say I don't think Gao Lang is going to lose because I'm worried about the outrage of Gao Lang losing because I think it's clear that even though people would probably want Justin to perform well, they don't want Justin to win against Gao Lang. I don't think I have mm-hmm. not met a single person I have not seen. Actually, I have seen a, a few people that have bet on Justin, but I've seen way more people say that it would be bad for Justin to win this fight because But are they are they betting on Justin as sort of a as a dark horse like throwing all their money up against the Patriots sort of idea in the Super Bowl? Or like on a whim? Or are they doing it because they actually want Justin to win because they don't want Gal Lang to win? You know what I mean? Like who's, you you know what I mean? So it's, I think it's one of those, because once again, I like Justin, but I think narratively speaking, and once again, we have the potential for an Agito versus Gal Lang rematch. One of the best fights in the original series. And we finally get a rematch years and years later. I really, like, I know that Sandra likes to break up the narrative and he doesn't like MC power-ups and he sort of tries to go away from the tropes and shit. But my God, that would be a finals versus Agito and Galang once again. They set it up in fight one. So I'm just saying, like, 
it, yeah, it would be really weird for Justin to go to the finals at this point. Yeah, I've seen it as a combination of people because, like, ever since he won against Sakagake, because again, I think Justin's win against Sakagake really did catch a lot of people off guard. Because even when I said Sakagake was gonna lose, people didn't believe me. Then it happened. But mm -hmm. I think because of that. Justin has a little bit more momentum with a few people where there are people who just don't like Gao Lang and then there are people who just like to bet on people that you know people look down on so the underdogs they're contrary they're contrarians in that way I, well I uh, once again if, if, if once again I believe all my live streams when I first got into King and are still on there I when the tournament started I did a bracket and I did betting on each round and I bet the whole round I would read all the chapters, blah, blah, blah. And as I said, I had like a 91, 93% success rate. And I bet on quite a few underdogs. I was like, nah, this this guy's been set up as the, you know, this, that, and then the other thing. And I and I kept betting. And stupidly enough, I did bet against Kuroki once. It's kind of stupid for doing that. But <laughs> anyways, um, but was yeah. Uh, I, uh, no, or was it, it was either Setsuna or Agito. I bet it, I bet against him for one of those two fights because I thought, narratively speaking, you know, Setsuna, like Agito and Oma have to fight, and Setsuna and Oma have to fight, and this and that person have to fight. Like, yep. like I was going down the MC, you know, shonen tropes. Like, oh, the rivals have to fight, and the main bad guy needs to be beaten by the main character, and all this stuff. And I, I was right. I was wrong many times. I still had a great success rate. But I was wrong many times. So I, I think that some people are still hoping for that in a sense, uh, to a degree that Sandros can still. And I think that's why uh, Ashura was so successful. I think people are just hoping in this tournament. Uh, and I think this tournament's too small. I think people should expect this more from cat number two. But to get these crazy upsets, guys that shouldn't win, win. You know what I mean? I don't think we should be expecting that in this tournament or the Berserker Bowl. I think we should be expecting that in the, uh, you know, in the other, in the, in the bigger tournaments, you know, expect the unexpected stuff. So maybe that's the whole dark horse thing. Though you could argue Rahito was a dark horse sort of in the Berserker Bowl, you know, so, and he won it. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess it is what it is there. Let's.